So, what are my more favorite levels? Um... Okay, this one. It's gonna be... I like the sniping minigame levels. It's gonna be fun to try to spot this guy here. So we gotta keep an eye out for basically yellowish boxes. It's gonna be absolutely the worst. My eyes are rapidly shifting to left and right, so I'm already getting dizzy. Basically, we want to be on the left. At least these will really help get our, get a good shot on him. We're gonna be ahead of you, got the bastard. You know what? How about we just let them get ahead? This might be fun, of course. It's like on a stack of tape, pretty much. Epic sniping for the win, baby. Don't like any of these levels, so I'm not gonna worry about them for now. Hang on, though. I'm not sure those coins can work. This is 250. Rhino No. Oh, that's adorable. That's an adorable name. They're called Rhino Nose. It's 
Snakey, you suck. game level. <laughs> I guess in this case, he is dangerous game. He's the most intelligent life form of all these animals. The most ingenious hiding. Someone's emailing me. I should check who it is in case it's dangerous. I should snipe these animals anyway because he might be hiding behind one of them. That'd just be awful. Can easily hide in the crocodiles. There you are. <laughs> Close enough, I guess. At least you don't have to go too far on the level. See with the see with these challenges, I definitely like to have the auto scroll levels out of the way. Probably the mini game ones. Where's the airplane? You're the airplane level. What sucks is this is the only sniping game that doesn't give you an egg dispenser. You had to uh, get the eggs yourself, as it were. I doubt he'd be on like one of those buildings in the background. That would just be really dickish. Especially with all these targets that can obst obstruct your shot. If I can make a prediction, though, I think he's going to be at the very end. Because there's a lot of ground to stand on, and I like that ending area. I hope he's not, because that means he's just going to sit through the whole level, and hope he can catch him as he passes by the end. Could also be on one of the planes, that's that's an idea. Then they kinda of wasted my eggs there. There he is! That was him. That I saw that little box thing. No wait. Okay, there's a couple of these little box things. I thought that box thing that box thing that we saw in the turn was him, but 
Now it seems like there's a lot of these little box things in the background. Could easily be on the, uh, on the background here. Could that be him? Nope, you can't target that. Okay. There he is! Okay! This is a lot easier than I was expecting. Sorry guys, uh, someone's commenting on my stories, which is good, because very few people bother to comment on my stories, even though it's a common courtesy thing. Probably like I have a ton of invisible readers. So, there's very limited options as to where he could be hidden in this level. Probably have to make it like a really tricky shot. My first prediction is that he's on one of the UFOs, or that he's up where the UFOs, or that he's just floating with the UFOs. He was just behind that really tall sign that you had to hit anyway for the red coins. <laughs> that was too easy. This is kind of fun. But I like I like hide and seek challenges in video games. I hate this level so much that I want to get it out of the way. So you're not really getting flowers for finding this guy. I wonder what kind of reward you get. Maybe, like, another super hard level. Cause like, the, cause, like, the Hidden Hills, they were challenge levels, but they're not, like, super difficult challenge levels. It's like, recent Mario games have, have, like, a whole world of challenge levels, but but it's only at the end where you find the super hard, the hardest final level. I have to check behind everything for this prick. Oh, he's gonna be so annoying. This is why I want to get this level out of the way right now. Because I don't like this level at all. I are thoroughly coming at the first time, the first hundred times I came through. I hate it if he's in, like, the background. That'd just be even more annoying to notice. He 
Okay, I'm getting so many comments. I'm happy, happy, and I know it. Clap my hands. I actually just slap my arm with my hands are holding the controller. A lot of potential hiding spots here, I'll tell you what. That's another thing, though, like... When you're on the Poochie mission, his form is, like, shaded out, implying you won't be able to see him in the Poochie perspective. Then again, there are some, some of the special objectives that you could possibly get in either perspective, so I'm not really sure about that either. I think just in case, I should try to check behind everything, including those inconspicuous sheep in the background. You see that little sheep on top of a tree? There's a tree like that near the end of the level that was that I thought was suspicious at first, but there was like nothing on it. So I'm thinking that could be where he's hidden. Can't shoot these clouds down. I doubt he'd be hidden on the on the dumb t flip roo challenges. Yep, speedrun strats. I am that used to playing this level. When I do find him, I need to see if he reacts to the ground pound. Cause that could really help in finding him. Hey there, pooch dog. Not here. So down Poochie, you need to check real thorough like. Hang on, Poochie. Okay, only Poochie can come in here, so I doubt he'd be in there. There's a lot of potential hiding places over here. There he is! Okay. Yep. All those platforms were perfect for hiding on. I'm gonna get my phone real quick. Is this person commenting is giving me constructive criticism. That's even better. Um, okay, we're good there. Hmm. Not particularly fond of this area. I mean, I guess I'll do this level. I I like this level. It's just kind of tasking to play through over and over. I like levels with beautiful music and good scenery. Oh. 
Also, we can't assume that he wouldn't that he wouldn't be behind objects. Cause remember the whole bear cup fiasco? It was under the one penguin cup that I didn't bother to hit. And it caused me a lot of grief. So we should assume that it, he could be hidden behind some objects. Okay, you can't really destroy the crabs. I like this little combo thing. You can come down here, but I don't see anything. season in like the corner down here. Oh, <laughs> forgot you're supposed to shoot the shell down. If I was any better, I could have done a shell jump there, but oh well. This seems like a good hiding spot. And I'm 100% right. See, well, I'm alright with this whole gimmick. It's annoying because I have to play through the levels again and do what I've been doing for the special objectives, searching every little secret place again. I don't even want to do that one. I don't like that level. I'll do it later. We'll do the very first level, just so we can be absolutely 100% done with the first level. In any video game, the first level is always... The most boring. Well, no, you know what? Since I got nothing to talk about, let's rate all the first levels in Mario games. Um, or talk about them rather. Super Mario 64 had Bob Bomb Battlefield. It was wide open. Really, really gets used to the whole 3D mechanic. Wide open. Um. It was really easy to get everything. Um, what I did like about Bomb on Battlefield was the, uh, the, the water, the water cannons. Like, those were such a unique, those were such a unique, unique enemy, and I like the sound they make. They go, you bong, bong. I was disappointed that that enemy never appears in another, in another level. 
Mario Mario Galaxy had something similar to that, but they weren't the ones that could. Well, I guess they could hurt you. They didn't directly hurt you, but you could get in and ride them. But there are areas where they can actually push you off the level, so you shouldn't get in them. So in, res in that regard, I think Mario Galaxy did the water cannons better. Super Mario Sunshine's first level was Delfino Airs. That was more of a tutorial level, so I'm not going to count that. First level of Mario Sunshine was really Bianco Hills. Bianco Hills was, um, definitely my least favorite in Mario Sunshine, just because it's boring, but, um... And because the music's... the music's not that interesting... And the, the missions aren't that memorable. There he is. Look, that was really easy. The missions aren't that memorable. Um, uh, not in the Bianco Hills. Although, okay, one thing I did like about Bianco Hills was the very beginning, the very the starting point of the level, where you can turn around and you're overlooking this, and you're overlooking the hills, and you can see like three, like three other levels in the distance. That was a cool touch. I don't remember which souls I actually like. I don't like any of these levels. I do not like this level. I just... We'll do it. We'll, we'll sit through this level again. Any hope he's going to be hidden on the, like, not the train. But knowing Nintendo, he will be on the train. Like, they could easily stick him on top of one of those platforms in the background as the train rolls by. In which case, we better have our freaking um, sniper ready. Alright, let's go back to talking about first levels. Um... Super Mario Galaxy had the Good Egg Galaxy, because Gateway Galaxy was a tutorial. Good Egg Galaxy... Good Egg Galaxy was pretty fun. It had some epic... epic music. Had... had like a mini-boss and a proper... boss. Well, at least Nintendo's being generous for once on this level, because it's hiding it right in plain sight. Oh, Good Egg Galaxy was fun. I don't really... I don't really have the hype to deal it, though. I don't want to do this other two levels. I'm just glad we got that one done. Super Mario Galaxy 2 had the, the Sky Garden something galaxy. That one was really... Ep that one had really epic music, and I had a lot of fun playing it the first time through. <sighs> I don't want to do that one. Um, um, I kind, I'm kind of, I kind of like this one. I won't mind doing it. So yeah, Sky Garden Galaxy is pretty epic. Well, it gets you hyped on the rest of the game. Super Mario Odyssey's first level was um, Bonneton, the Cat Kingdom. And yeah, and yeah, technically it is a tutorial level, but it's still a prop, but it's still a, a full world. Well, more like half a world because only 50 purple coins. It's still basically world, so I don't I count Bonneton as the first level of Mario Odyssey. I like the atmosphere of it, but it's too damn tiny, which is a problem I have with every other world in Mario Odyssey. I like the I like the atmosphere of Bonneton, and I kinda wish they had a bit more world building to go along with it. Well, I will say that Mario Odyssey uh really did take pride in its world building. I just wish it could have done more. I've seen fictional series do better world building than Odyssey, but for a Mario game, it, it was good, because 
world building in any Mario game is highly appreciated. Um... The new Super Mario games have forgettable... have forgettable first levels, just like any... any level in New Mario is forgettable. So, I'll do this one. That's a good question, fellow reader. Couldn't be in this beginning spot because there's no eggs. This is definitely my least favorite mini game. Even though it does involve sniping, it's not really fast paced or action y whatsever. And it, it goes really. Yeah, that's the problem. It just goes really slow. I forgot to check if he actually reacts to the ground pound. Because that could be a good indicator of where he is. I'm gonna assume he's on one of the, uh, the background soil patches. Be really mean if he's actually behind a monkey mole. So far, he hasn't really been behind any of the breakable objects. He's just hidden behind the, the non-interactable objects, at least. Like, in a window, or behind that, uh, in that flower just now. Oh, this is a random thing to talk about. Ban Banjo Kazooie, Mumbo's Mountain. Um, no one should be bad at Mumbo's Mountain if you're, if you're at least decent with Banjo Kazooie. You should not be bad at Mumbo's Mountain. It was just, it's probably even easier than Bob on Battlefield because um, it's smaller and you don't have to backtrack. Banjo Tooie had Mayhem Temple, which is um, relatively easy by Banjo Tooie standards, but it could, but it gets you used to the formula for Banjo Tooie because it can be pretty tricky to find everything if you're not experienced. Uh, what am I doing that level? I don't really like any of these levels. Let's do Ninja Rama. Get that out of the way. This is a Ninja Rama. <laughs> Let's do this level. This is fun. Donkey Kong 64 has Jungle Japes, which is, uh, pretty decently sought, about as big as any other level in DK64. It did require backtracking. Well, of course, it's the easiest in DK64, but it's still, it'd still take a while to find everything. Round two, just in case. Oh, I keep forgetting about the time limit. It's like the only level in the game that has a proper time limit. I'd wager he's in the audience somewhere.
can't uh, really attack the audience, so you can't be behind them. Oh, you're not in the audience, you little trickster. I'll do this level because I don't like it. If I look from the ghost house level, that's gonna be a nightmare. I gotta check every little secret place again. Either way, I think I've seen all there is to see at this game for the most part, so I'm not really gonna be too hyped. I'm trying to find, trying to find this dude, like in every level. Easily be in these little cracks in the wall there, like where the roller coaster were. There he is, perfect. Get him out of the way nice and early. Well, we're, we're about midway through, so whatever. I'm not gonna worry about this house. We will do this level for the very last time. First place I'm gonna look is under those penguins that do nothing but to set up a hidden bear cup. But you're gonna put him in this early! At least you're generous, Nintendo. You know I'm sick of this level by now. You know it. Okay, that was very generous of them. Alright, now we'll do this pirate level just to have it out of the way. First prediction, he's going to be on one of the pirate ship segments.
I like any level that has water that has um, water in it, just because the water is beautiful to look at. So that's, that makes this a bit better. I like I get hit by that wind. On these holes, you can definitely get them back there. Case in point. Now we'll have the Ninja Rama. Do my favorite level first. Because that level is actually tricky to find everything. There's a lot of secrets. Oh yeah, anybody here watch Big Bang Theory? It's um, it's a show on like um, it's a show on Channel 12. Well, um, today's Thursday, and they're actually having the series finale of Big Bang Theory, so that's gonna be sad. Well, it was a pretty cool show while it lasted. And I think it's uh, time for it to end, really. Yep, so I figured you'd be in there. Would be nice to get at least half of them. Now I'll just do one of the worst levels. I think the worst level is the snake level. But this is uh, definitely one of the worst. I mean, I mean, in hindsight, I do like this level. I like, I like the idea behind it. But it's an auto scroll, and you know how I feel about auto scrolls. Definitely destroy all of these things. It'd be behind one of them easy. Thing is, background targets don't really show up as silhouettes, so that'll make finding it a bit trickier. Like, we shouldn't really just rush up these platforms that we can't go back down. We have to wait until the guy actually appears. Thank you. 
Better not be up there, because that's where the one of the special decorative was. I thought you'd be behind one of those blocks. Alright, glad we got that level out of the way. Alright, I'll play the other annoying level. Okay, see this this little cloud is the this cloud has the final four red coins that I missed before that I got off screen, so there you go. I was kinda hit it by accident with the egg. Egg. Alright, at least you're not too far in. I keep forgetting to do the ground pound thing, but it don't matter. It's getting pretty easy to spot. Guess I'll do these uh, terrible levels. Well, this level is, once again, this level is pretty nice in hindsight. I'm just tired of playing it over and over again. Kick back and relax this time, I'll tell you what. Here, maybe? Let me jump to hide up here, right there. To be behind any one of those leaves, I'm totally missing him.
Okay, there he is. This isn't so bad. Except I'm uh, missing every possible shot. That would have been so epic if I hit him. Alright, give me some eggs. You're not gonna give me any more eggs. Okay, here we go. You got eggs. Good. I need shots now. And we got rid of those other annoying targets too. There we go. I should have grabbed those eggs back there. Let's look up there, just in case. There is a secret up here, isn't there? If I can write this thing up. Eh, not really. places. Do this level. Actually, let's do this level because so we can really narrow down his hiding spots. Considering we can't really uh, go everywhere, so we have to wear that skull. So he definitely couldn't be in the last area. In fact, we can eat, destroy these, and then ditch this. Perfect. So now I can get the hunt started. And again, it could easily be hidden behind one of these things. Well, we can actually destroy these with ground pounds. Except when the matter is getting back up there. We cannot actually see anything unless we just play with that, uh, dude. Okay, I don't really see what the angle, so let's just get going. 
I'm a little hungry now. I'm gonna get me some freshes today. Actually, I'm just gonna have a cheese muffin. I haven't had cheese muffins in a while. Cheese muffins are so good. Cheese muffins can really get you through the work day. Alright, nothing in the first half. One of those things, aren't you? Right, now I remember. We need to uh, destroy those, then we could head on through without it. No, wait! Or maybe we just won't do it all because you're right there and I just missed you. I'm buried in the sand, are we? Come on, hit him. We'll do the terrible dinosaur level. This one's probably the worst level. I, I just said the snake level is the worst. Um, this one is the worst. Okay, I, I see the snake level is worse than this one. Just in terms of the Poochie mission. It's like when you're doing the Poochie mission here, it's an auto scroll, so you don't have to worry about the time limit. Snake level manages to be the worst without being an auto scroll. That means it's pretty bad. Pretty damn bad. So, my first guess is that's gonna be at the ending where uh, everything starts rushing. Uh, I have only a split second to hit it. Stock up on eggs, definitely. Could also be behind one of these rock pillars. I mean, he's one behind one of the uh, the green the green blocks in the uh, the shogi level. So get, why not do the same here? All right. Keep an eye on the ones that the dinosaur destroys, because he might be behind one. Don't let ground pound that. Could also be in one of the palm trees in the background. That'd be terrible. Okay, now we're doing the rushing thing. Screw off. Screw off, Dynaton. Ten tons of dino. Oh, fuck. Now I won't even have eggs, even if I do spot it. I'm out of eggs. There he is! That is the worst possible thing that could have happened. Alright, uh, here we go again, man! Feel free to skip this. Oh, I'll do it off screen. <laughs> 